Tony Fauci uh, said this the other day, um, and some have frowned on me because I have uh, let people know, and you can check me, I know you do, uh, that Fauci, I don't know him personally, and I bid him Godspeed. But he's a backslidden Catholic who is a self-professing humanist. Humanists do not believe in prayer. Humanists do not believe that God intervenes. Humanists do not believe that we need help from the Lord at all. That may be one of the reasons why he could easily recommend that churches be closed, but he fumbled and waffled when they suggested perhaps perhaps the, the protests were, should be uh, curtailed because th don't they spread the virus? If, you, if singing in church and gathering in church spreads the coronavirus, most certainly marching down the street, Everybody on top of each other screaming and hollering ought to spread the virus as well. But he would not, he would not speak against uh, people's constitutional rights to protest, but the same constitution that speaks to our right to protest speaks to our right to practice our religion. And yet they had no problem shutting down churches. So the latest from um, Fauci, uh, this is according to Forbes, Forbes.com, August the 31st, 2020. Dr. Tony Fauci, director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease, said Thursday past, this Thursday's past, that temperature checks are unreliable for detecting coronavirus symptoms in people entering businesses and other establishments. As infrared thermometers have been embraced as part of the protocol for reopening. So as soon as people embraced the thermometers and said, okay, we're going to do the temperature checks, now he's saying that they're unreliable. But according to DailyMail.com on the 23rd of March of this year, the same man said this to the Science uh, Magazine Journal, Dr. Fauci said, give serious consideration to screening shoppers at U.S. stores, we, when asked if this measure, speaking of uh, temperature checks, could be introduced in U.S. stores, he replied, yes, of course. I think the logistics uh, of that have to be worked out. So when he said yes, people just scrambled and got the temperatures because this is a good thing. Now that people are practicing it and people are saying, well, this gives us a measure of safety, now he comes and says... Well, it's unreliable. It seems that his role is to uh, extinguish hope. Anything that seems promising and hopeful, he shoots down. Unless, of course, he has a vested interest in it. Also, he's allowed to be all over the place with his recommendations. January 26, 2020, he said, and he said this to the Cats Roundtable, he said, the American people should not be worried or frightened by this. This is January the 26th. It's a very low risk to the United States. This is what he said about the coronavirus. In January of, 20, uh, of this year, the 26th, he said that American people should not be worried nor frightened by this. Also on February the 29th, almost 30 days after the president put the travel ban in place. Because if you recall, when the travel ban was put in place, he was called xenophobic, said it was hysteria, he's overreacting. He put the ban in place on January 31st. On February the 29th, Dr. Fauci said this, right now, this is, right now, at this moment, there is no need to change what you are doing, the risk is still low, but this could change. So as late as February, 30 days after the travel ban was put in place, he told Americans not to change anything that they were doing. I think all of us would agree now that he was wrong. Uh, his, his concern has drastically changed. CNBC.com, August 13th, 2020. Quote, the bottom line is, 
I'm not pleased with how things are going, end of quote. And he also said, we certainly are we certainly are not where I hope we would be. We are in the middle of a very serious historic pandemic, he added. And there have been many other inaccuracies that Dr. Fauci has uh, given. For example, CBS News, 60 Minutes, March 2020. There is no reason to be walking around with a mask. Infectious disease expert Dr. Tony Fauci told 60 Minutes, there is no reason, he says, that in March of this year to be walking around with a mask. While masks may block some droplets, Fauci said, they do not provide the level of protection people think they do. Wearing a mask may also have unintended consequences, he said. People who wear masks tend to touch their faces more uh, often to adjust them, which can spread germs from hands, uh, uh, from their hands. Uh, now, uh, uh, his most recent position, according to ABC News, July the 29th, 2020, Dr. Fauci says, if you have goggles or eye shields, you should use it. It's not universally recommended, but if you really want to be complete with the mask, you should probably use it if you can. For those who are wearing masks and those who are here with masks on, I am by no means insinuating that you should take your mask off. Uh, when I am in public, uh, in public places, I wear masks. When I go into businesses that require masks, I wear masks. Wearing a mask is not my point. My point is he's allowed to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and whatever direction he points us in, we go in the direction, and mind you, nobody voted for him, that he points us in. That black lady doctor in California who treated uh, 300 and uh, 75 uh, patients who got well from hydroxychloroquine, who treated the patients. Many of our own people shot her down when Fauci has never treated any patients. And, th and that lady said, let him tell me to my face that these, these people didn't get well. And yet, folk, what's my point? My point is, uh, many of these people are working hard to keep you depressed. Listen to me now. YouTube Live, Facebook Live, listen to this preacher. Whether you agree with me or not, just think of what I'm saying. They're working hard. It appears their goal is to keep us in fear. Really, to keep you in fear till after the election. But I'll tell you a little bit about that. Because the truth is, after the election, the coverage will change. Now, the virus may not change. But the coverage on the virus will change.